Hello and welcome to episode 8. Our topic this time is dark matter and dark energy. Scientists call them dark because they are not able to explain it. In the last episode, we came to understand the countless particles that compose atoms. Now, the first step in understanding our present topic is to understand that nothing arises from nothing. There is always a raw material. It's like the brick maker. As the number of bricks increase, and so is the hole in his backyard. Scientists' perception of atom, with the nucleus and particles orbiting around it, is completely wrong. The nucleus and the particles are one and the same. When the nucleus, expa uh, when the nucleus expands, it becomes the particles. And once the particles contract, they become the nucleus. Atomic vibration is a process of arising and disappearing, or life and death. Once the particles of atom expands, the process of dying starts, and when it contracts, it starts to gain energy for its next birth. Uh, size is a matter of number, thus the law of burning atom applies to large bodies such as planets, galaxies, universes, including living objects such as humans. The life cycle of a body is dictated by size. Small atom vibrates indiscernibly short, while large universe has immeasurable lifespan. The basic element, elements given off by uh, the dying matter are the, di are the dark matter that becomes raw material for the next arising matter to arise. Matter arise and disappear, but not dark matter, they are recycled. Although it uses the same basic elements when it contracts and forms into a new atom, it is no longer the same atom because its structure is not the same as the one that preceded it. Please note very well that dark matter exists not only in outer space because they are here on Earth also. Otherwise, nothing would arise on Earth. For example, the morning following thunderstorm, mushroom grows. Lightning supplied the heat to, dark, to uh, the dark matter for mushroom to sprout. Now, dark energy. Unless scientists change their perspective of atomic vibration, time may never come for them to understand dark matter, much less dark energy. Dark energy is the impersonal force that causes atom to vibrate. Understanding atomic vibration is hampered by size uh, both in space and time. The vibration of atom is made imperceptible by its smallness. The size of the universe, on the other hand, creates an illusion of permanence. As explained in the preceding episodes, atom vibrates to strike equilibrium, that is to balance density and pressure which never happens within a body. Please note very well that the universe is a single body just as the atom is.